Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alex and now it's time to react that the song coming from Sweden to Eurovision 2023. So as we know, Lorene is back to Eurovision after the massive hit Euphoria. She's back with the song Tattoo to represent Sweden in Eurovision. And yeah, yeah, this is a hard one to beat. I've seen the performance back in her eat where she was in, and this is definitely a winning performance. I have to say that I'm an enormous Lorene's fan. I really love her songs and I've been following her since uh, since then. Lorraine is an artist that I hear every day. I have it on Spotify. I listen to her songs non-stop. And yeah, I'm really, really pleased she's back in Eurovision. Let's see how Tattoo was uh, yesterday. Let's see it together and let's talk about it. Let's go. Here we go. He T play. This is such a dangerous performance. I see it that way. Let's go. At this point, we all knew. We all know the song, right? Bye. And I love her aesthetic. The way she does things every time. I think that statement back in the day was so robbed. But I understand. Come on! And now I care about is you. Sorry for my voice. <coughs> Let's see if they can keep it like this for your vision. Let's see. But it's all the work is already done for your vision, yeah. Just to take this and put it back in Liverpool stage. Come on! I don't care about the pain. This is epic. And once again, SVT doing an amazing, an amazing TV show. She's, she's meant for this. She's just an incredible artist. Is she going to win again? Is she? This is... This is a masterpiece. About the song itself, I think that it's not uh, comparing it to, I'll explain it just right now. As I was saying, comparing it to Euphoria, I think that it doesn't have the same effect. It can't have the same effect as Euphoria, of course. And I don't think that it's uh, better than Euphoria, uh, but the performance puts the song in another in another level. If this was uh, with another staging, maybe she wouldn't be even chosen uh, to represent the country. I think, but uh, the 
the old product it's meant for your vision this is uh, such a swedish quality performance uh, this is what we we expect and this is what we get sweden is definitely one of the powerhouses in your vision we all know that and this year they're back once again fighting for the win um is it going to be enough to to win the old contest she has all the possibilities but as we know Lorene has right now a lot of other contenders for the win. Uh, I include um, Finland, Norway, Spain, Austria, Czech Republic. This is very complicated to say, but of course Lorene, she has the name, she has the, the background and she has the performance, so she has everything to win. I was reading just before that, putting the, the performance back together, it takes more than 30 seconds and this can be a problem in the Eurovision stage and I, I read too that the LED uh, platform she has above her uh, weights more than one tone and this is going to be difficult to stage um, in Liverpool. It's a possibility that they cannot do exactly the same. Putting a mirror like uh, Cyprus did in 2021 with uh, El Diablo could work perfectly uh, I think yeah and have more or less the same effect. Let's wait and see how this is going to be performed in Liverpool. But yeah, I'm really, really happy. But anyway, guys, what do you think about the song coming from Sweden to Eurovision? Put me everything into the comments below. I want to know your opinion, of course. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. But until then, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of my content, you only have to click here. Thanks for watching. Bye.